welcome back. Just when you thought religious liberty was protected by the court, they are dragging Jack the Baker back into it. A Denver district judge has ruled that Jack Phillips, owner of Masterpiece Cake Shop, violated Colorado's discrimination laws by declining to bake a transition cake for a transgender woman because of his religious beliefs. In 2018, Jack also declined to bake a wedding cake for a gay couple, but won a partial victory at the Supreme Court. The ruling uh, in the most recent case is ordering Phillips to pay a $500 fine. So what does this mean for our First Amendment? Let's welcome in the man himself, owner of Masterpiece Cake Shop, Jack Phillips. Also with us is Senior Counsel and Vice President for Legal Strategy at the Alliance for Defending Freedom, Ryan Banger. Gentlemen, great to have you with us. Well, thanks for having us. We're honored. Uh, I, I think most people are familiar with your story, Jack, who watch this network. But just to be clear, you're not refusing service to transgender people. You simply don't want to make a, a transition cake. So if a transgender person comes in and says, Jack, I'd like a birthday cake, you have no problem with that. The issue is that you as a Christian believe, like a lot of Christians believe, most Christians, that your gender, your sex is determined by God, our creator. And it's not something that you can just tr change, right? That's correct. No, at Masterpiece Cake Shop, we serve everybody who comes into our shop. We've had you know, people who identify as transgender and even a gay man who testified on our behalf at this most recent trial. But the uh, person who's suing me has also promised me that if I were to win this case or if it were have been dismissed for any technicality or anything, that I would get a phone call the very next day and we'd get another cake order and we'd start all over again. And this was sworn to under oath. And also that uh, these were this is a cake designed to correct the errors of my thinking. And that's what I think is so offensive to a lot of people, Ryan, that this is a solution in search of a problem here and that it is a politically motivated cake. Uh, this, there would not be this cake but for uh, their desire to troll Jack. That's exactly right. This is a situation where Jack is being targeted relentlessly by individuals who want to compel him and coerce him to speak messages that they know he cannot speak based on his conscious and his religious beliefs. And that is something the First Amendment flat out prohibits. And it's really unbelievable that Jack is still going through this persecution in light of the fact that his conduct and his actions are clearly protected yeah. by the First Amendment of the U.S. Constitution. It seems obvious. My question is this, though. Based on the 2020 Supreme Court ruling about Title VII of the Civil Rights Act, where we saw Justice Gorsuch and Kavanaugh both say that it extends uh, to the issue of sex, sex is protected. They, you know, talked about LGBTQ members. You know, does this, you think this changes anything? First to you, Jack, and then to you, Ryan. You know, it doesn't change anything in my mind because I serve not. everybody who comes into my shop. I just can't create every cake that people ask me to create because of certain messages. Mm -hmm. And another message would be like this person suing me, this attorney who's suing me, asked a cake uh, with Satan smoking a marijuana joint. Mm -hmm. That's a message that I couldn't create for anybody. So it's always a message of a cake, not the person asking for it. Right. You shouldn't be forced to do a Hitler, right. you know, cake either. Absolutely. So, but Ryan, do you think that um, 2020 Supreme Court ruling will change anything? No, I don't, for exactly the reasons that Jack just stated. Jack serves everyone, regardless of sexual orientation, regardless of gender identity. The only thing Jack can't do is he can't communicate messages that conflict with his conscience, with his religious beliefs. And that's what's at stake here. That's why this case is completely different than Bostock. Well, I think this country would probably be a lot better if more people would stick to their morals like this uh, instead of being so wishy-washy. We see way too much of that. Ryan, Jack, great to talk to you both. Please keep us posted about your appeal. We look forward to following up with you guys. Thank you so much.